You know, many of us get blood work done, like a lipid profile, especially if you have heart disease or you have a family history of heart disease. You typically get it as a part of your annual checkup. And you know, when you see these reports, you, you look at terms like, you know, LDL, HDL, triglycerides, cholesterol. And I think often we all wonder, what do these terms actually mean? And more importantly, how do they actually impact us? You know, so today on Doctors on Call, we'll try and decipher what each of these terms are what these different cholesterols are and how they can affect your brain, your heart and your overall health. I'm Dr. Samir Gupta. And I'm Dr. Sonia Lal Gupta. And welcome to Doctors on Call. Blood lipids are fatty substances such as triglyceride and cholesterol. Now these lipids are building blocks of life and provide energy to the cells. Whenever these levels go abnormally high or low, they can affect our health. There are many types of lipids. LDL cholesterol is a low-density lipid which is also commonly known as the bad cholesterol. High levels can form deposition of plaque or fatty deposit between the arteries that over time can lead to increased risk of coronary artery disease, heart attack or stroke. SDL cholesterol is high-density lipid also commonly called the good cholesterol. Good levels of HDL helps clear out LDL and thus play an important role in keeping the heart healthy. Extremely low levels can again increase your risk of heart attack. Regular exercise increases HDL levels. Triglycerides are stored in your fat cells and high levels are formed when we burn less calories than what we consume. This also contributes to heart disease as it affects the arteries by depositing plaque. Now when you have diabetes, especially uncontrolled diabetes, then you can have high sugars and an insulin imbalance in your body. This increases the risk of dyslipidemia. Now let's see what some of the other doctors in the community have to say about it. Dyslipidemia or poor lipid level in diabetes mellitus is characterized by poor quality and quantity of low density lipoprotein, deficiency of high density lipoprotein and some differences in the triglyceride level in the blood. Indians are more susceptible to the changes in the lipid profile in diabetes mellitus. Lifestyle management, proper control of diabetes, proper control of high blood pressure and proper control of diet by avoiding saturated fat and also use of drugs like statin which can directly lower the low density lipoprotein cholesterol can lead to reversal and decrease the numbers of events of cerebrovascular events or myocardial infarction. This lipidemia rank among the most firmly established and best understood risk factor for development of cardiovascular diseases. Similarly, in a diabetic patient, this lipidemia is the major risk factor for future development of both microvascular and macrovascular complications like coronary artery disease, cerebrovascular disease and peripheral vascular disease. There are extensive evidences that support the effectiveness of aggressive management of this lipidemia. The first maneuver to achieve the lipid goal in a dyslipidemia patient is the specific exercise and diet recommendations given by the different world authorities. Addition of drug to non-pharmacological measures like rosuvastatin and atorvastatin reduces the cardiovascular risk both in established CAD patient and also in the individuals who have previously not suffered from coronary artery disease events. You know, apart from physical activity and genetics, diet plays a very important role in determining your cholesterol and lipid levels. And you know, that is why we always say, get on to a healthy diet as well as a regular exercise plan. After all, you know, staying healthy is the most important thing. Stay fit, stay healthy. See you next week.